Hello my little snowflakes. Welcome to my first bookshelf tour video which this will be part one to that because I have so many books and my arms got tired and I have so many books that are not necessarily on this shelf. So you're gonna get like the first four or so shelves simply because it took five minutes um, just to get the camera to work um, and editing this video has been a nightmare so yeah um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and you hear my cat playing around with something that's on the floor I don't know anyway um, if you want to see part two, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know. And I'm always available for you to message me on Instagram and all my fun social medias, which will be listed down below. So without any more further ado, um, oh, <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> Hello. And now for the voiceover. So right now I'm just going through some of the books that I have read. Most of these are going to be romance novels I'm noticing. Um, but yeah, this is on the top shelf of all of the books that I've read. So these are advanced reader copies or just copies that I really enjoyed. They're just mostly paperbacks that are up there. Now we're on to the second shelf. This second shelf is all hardcover books that I have read, and there's three on top that I'm going to get to that I have not read yet, but I set aside for um, like pictures and stuff like that, so that's why they're kind of there. So here we are on the next bookshelf of books that I've read. Um, I just remembered that the ones that I was just showing you before were the hardcovers that I had on my first shelf that I couldn't uh, squeeze onto this shelf. So these are the ones that um, I wanted to feature, but I haven't read them yet. What are you even supposed to do for voiceovers? Like, this is my first time doing it, and you know, I think that I'm doing a pretty good job. So, let's see. Ramona Blue, Simon Versus, oh, I love the book. The Outsiders. Ooh, you guys can see my hand cramping. Gotta love that. Books out for Charlie. Yeah, that book was heavy. So this is my third shelf. Um, these have my favorite like classic literature slash classic literature I read as a kid. Um, and I'm kind of in love with all of these editions. I have so many copies of Little Women Things and Anne of Green Gables. It's not even funny. It's ridiculous whenever we get down to my bottom shelf filled with all of my favorite Shakespeare and everything. Yeah, that was heavy. Like, that whole box set was just so stinking heavy. I grew up reading Paula Danzinger, and she's amazing. Are you there, God? It's me, Charlie.
now we're on to the bottom shelf. So these are going to be historical fiction that I have on my to be read. And then right after we have the Shakespeare books that I have, especially the no fear Shakespeare, I actually prefer them. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but like, I just can't stand reading Shakespeare without it being dumbed down for me, you know? F. Scott Fitzgerald, my boy. I love both editions. And now we're on to the Brontes. I... Okay, you're gonna end up seeing a lot of Penguin classics because I absolutely adore them and they're so much easier to write in and annotate and everything. And I just prefer them. And I got some of these for like a dollar, so I couldn't not. Now we're on to Jane Austen. I have a million copies of Jane Austen novels and still have not read one. So, yeah. Isn't that amazing for me? And that, my dears, is where we get cut off because my hand said, nope, no more. We, um, can't do this anymore. So, we'll have, I'll have a part two, um, come out sometime. And, yeah. So, be looking out for that. And, I love you guys. Bye!